everyone welcome back to agri farming today we are back with how to grow green beans in backyard green beans are moderate and can also be grown in a simple way at the summer and autumn they will provide tasty food at the same time providing us with good health these beans are very sensitive to temperatures which are cold or any other conditions which are not suitable and you will need to make sure that you are watering them on a daily basis. Now, let's get into the choosing of beans. The basic variety of green beans are pole beans and bush beans. The bushes present in the bush beans will spread across the ground and they will grow for about 2 feet tall. The bush beans which are white will only produce one harvest at the time of the growing season. They are very much easy to grow and also not require tending so much. Bush beans are the ones which will spread on the horizontal way whereas the pole beans will have to climb in a vertical direction. Bush beans will not need any type of support present in the backyard whereas the pole beans will need a trellis for the support of climbing as support. The varieties of bush beans which are recommended for most of the reasons are Bountiful and Bush Blue Lake. Soil Requirement for Green Beans Green beans will survive in the soil which is loamy. So, if your backyard area has the clay soil which is heavy or the soil which is sandy, you will need to make amendments to it by the addition of organic material prior to the plantation of your green beans. Loamy soil is crumbly and also dark. The soil has to be tasted by squeezing it by making use of your hands. Clay soil strays in the form of bowl, whereas the soil which is sandy will completely fall apart. Loamy soil will retain its shape in the initial stage and then breaks apart if you touch it. If you are working with heavy clay soil, you will need to spray about 2 inch of compost or manure all over the soil and dig into one foot of the top of the soil by making use of garden fork or shovel. If you are dealing with sandy soil, you need to spread the equal amount of compost of manure into the soil in a similar way. Irrespective of the type of soil you have in your backyard, you will need to always make sure that the area has no weeds, stones, debris or any other trash. Sunlight requirement for planting green beans Green beans will require lots of sunlight in order to grow in a proper manner. So make sure that you are trying to select an area in your backyard which is receive full sun for your site of the plantation. The soil temperature which is ideal for green beans at the stage of plantation is 13 degrees Celsius. The temperature should increase to 26 degrees Celsius as soon as the plants will reach the stage of an emergency. The temperature of soil of the seeds of green beans is 10 degrees Celsius. Propagation of green bean seeds. The seeds should not be soaked prior to plantation or immediately after the plantation. When the seeds are exposed to an excess amount of moisture, the seeds of green bean will break or crack. Each of every seed has to be sown at a distance of 2 inches. Make use of your fingers for pressing the seeds into the soil individually. If you are going with the plantation of pole beans, they should have given even more space. It is better not to sow the seeds in indoor location as the green beans will not survive when transplanted in a good manner. The seedlings will have very less time to survive after transplantation. Water requirement for green beans Watering of green bean plants has to be done in morning. They should not be watered during the rainy season or cloudy weathers. The watering should be done on the days which are sunny so that there will be no chance to the moisture to soak the foliage. The plants have to be given 1.5 inches of water on a weekly basis. It is always suggested not to water the green bean plants in the middle of the day as there is a chance of evaporation. Now, let's get into the intercultural operations for green beans plantation. The wood chip mulch or even straw will work in a good manner with the green beans. Mulch will help in the prevention of soil from becoming too much cool or warm. This will also help to retain the moisture in the soil.
the mulch has to be applied for at least three times over the plants after you see that the soil has begun to warm up other types of mulches which are good will be like untreated lawn clippings or withered straw always make sure that you are using grass clippings so that they will not consist of pesticides as mulch mulch will also help to the prevention of the spread of weeds when you are removing the weeds make sure that you are not digging for too much depth the root system of green beans is shallow and hence if you dig deep into the surface of the soil it may cause damage to them make sure that you are not starting to weed when the foliage appears wet as it may cause the risk of disease to it nutrient requirement for green beans green beans will not need a plenty amount of nutrients but a little application of fertilizer will help your green bean plants to grow in a better way you can make use of shovel to add the fertilizer into top four inches of the soil the fertilizer which is in the ratio of 10 is to 20 is to 10 will be perfect as it has high content of phosphorus than the potassium and nitrogen hence it would be perfect for the plant to grow if you tend to choose a fertilizer which has high content of nitrogen then your bean plant will give rise to lots of leaves but it will have very fewer beans make sure there is a good amount of organic content on your soil so that it will help to grow your green beans healthy and fresh high content of phosphorus then potassium and nitrogen is important choice when applying nutrients to your soil pests and disease of green bean plantation in your backyard there are several pests and disease to which the green beans are prone to for this you will have to apply organic insecticides and fungicides to the plants as required in order to avoid these problems and regulate them sulfur and neem oil are generally the fungicides which are adequate Green beans are mainly attractive to spider mites, cutworms, aphids, and Japanese beetles and are mainly weak against the mosaic virus and white mold. Make sure that you are getting rid of these cutworms by making use of insecticides named Bacillus thuringiensis. The aphids, the aphids and spider mites can be avoided by pouring water onto your leaves and hosing them off the leaves. Try to use organic control to control your pests and diseases in your backyard so that it will be good for health. Let's get into the harvesting of green beans in your backyard. In order to harvest the green beans, the pots have to be in a firm manner and they should be in such a way that you are able to snap off by making use of your fingers. Green beans will generally have a size of a tiny pencil when they are ready for harvesting. Harvesting will generally take place in two months from plantation and two weeks after the stage of full blossom. If you give too much time for the beans to reach the stage of maturity, the pots will become more and more stingy and there would be a development of tough external skin. Always remember that the seeds present inside the green beans should never be allowed to develop completely. If so, the seeds present internally will become hard. So, harvest your green beans before it reaches its full maturity. Now, let's get into the storage of green beans which is harvested from your backyard. The harvested beans have to be kept in a container which has airtight lid and store for about a week in refrigerator. You can freeze the green beans for approximately 6 months. Bush beans are the ones which take lesser time to reach its maturity and it's easy to grow as compared to the pole beans. But the pole beans will be impressive in terms of appearance in most cases. For growing pole beans, you will need to go for the installation of trellis for your pole beans so that they can climb. These trellises are like wooden, like this, garden trellis, cattle panel, etc. That's all folks for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to this channel and please ring the bell button to notify you whenever new video is uploaded.
Thank you for watching.